small uh, no, shoulder mounted AW something weapon advanced weapon or something anyway I saw these two guys shooting a tank with it and they sort of got this thing and there's a tank and you see the tank in the video and you see the guys and they're sort of joking and they press a button and it goes and then you watch the tank then they get the camera on the tank and there's the tank sitting there and then suddenly the tank disappears I mean, it fucking well disappears. It's totally no tank, right? One minute tank, next minute Polarized. no tank. Just, just vaporized. Okay. Vaporized. Yeah. And you know, a tank is like not small. You know, it's got like big armor and. It's not butter. <laughs> yeah, it's like a very big, heavy thing. And, you know? and I guess you know what part of the armor is made out of. Depleting well, of course. Rain. Anyway, the thing is, <laughs> one minute yeah, it's there, yeah. the next so minute it's gone. So okay, yeah. the, and and two weeks later we breathe it. And the size, and I, and the size uh, of this thing, because you can see that they're shooting this bloody thing, right? Got, it's just like a bazooka. Yeah? No, it's just like high a tube. density it's like, oh, oh, explosives. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they, they fire this thing out of a tube. Yeah. So the actual size of the, of, the, of the destroying bit is about the size of an aubergine. It's like a brinjol. But, but it's mm. about that big. Mm. That's the size of it, right? That's it. And that thing makes a tank turn into vapor. What was in it you said? Uranium. With something? It's just an explosive which has got some, it's like a powder mixed in with the explosive. They, they, they mix in this uranium powder with the explosive. And it's a shaped charge, so in other words, it's not like just a blob. It's like, it's got a kind you, of cone, you know that, it's you like know a that, cone. so when it explodes, uh, it sort of shoots forward. You know? Sweden as a prostitute is, is uh, opening our, our northern Sweden for, for uh, weapon tests from, from different countries. Well, they want to be careful because there's a place in Sicily called Quira, okay? Okay. It's called the Quira Polygon, and, and, and uh, uh, NATO have been practicing with these weapons in the Quira Polygon, and there's a huge increase in cancer and birth defects and all that. It's been published by this guy, Zucchetti, his name is, Z-U-C-H-E-T-I, T-T-I, mm. and he's published this. I, I cite it in my paper, so you can find my paper, Roland, it's all in there, all yeah. these descriptions of these weapons, everything, it's all there. It's all published now. It's in a it's in a paper, it's in a journal called Conflict and Health. So if you go to the latest uh, version of Conflict and Health on the internet, you'll find my paper. Fisk was supposed to do uh, and, uh, um, yeah. conflicts and health, and that is also on your on your. Uh, no, we, ha side. we haven't put any, haven't put it up at all yet. We're keeping it low b low profile because, and don't you put it up anywhere either, uh -huh. because Robert Fisk of the Independent is at the moment he's supposed to be in Fallujah and he's going to do a big story on this. Okay. So we want to wait. We're giving him a good the first. So the, first the magazine is called Conflict, Conflict and, and Health, Health. Yeah. And that I can find on the internet. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. the number of it you don't know. Yeah, it's, it's number uh, it's number fifteen. It's number five, volume volume five, number fifteen. It's all, it's all fives. Okay, so yeah. it's, it's which month is that? Uh, September the 2nd it was published. Sept, okay. Yeah. 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 But mm. that, that gun, that yeah. aubergine. Yeah, the aubergine. The Russians invented it. They called it red mercury. Anyway, we're not sure about it. There might be something even worse than, 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 than what I'm saying. It might be some kind of neutron device. We don't know yet. Huh. There's a way in which you can make uranium into a neutron bomb, you see. You, you mix it with tritium, uh, no, with deuterium, with heavy hydrogen. And then if you compress it with heavy hydrogen, what uh, happens? Maybe they don't tell it on video. No, right. <laughs> well, it's already there. <laughs> no, 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 not the details. Okay. Don't do it at home, don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh Children, don't try this at home. <laughs> make love, don't make war. <laughs> don't make aubergines with depleted uranium, no enriched uranium. Anyway, but that was a real, a real surprise, enriched uranium. You know, that that's, it was in the hair of the parents, enriched uranium. Fallujah. Yeah. It's a bloody uh, Yeah, story. I mean, uh, I'm coming, to Sweden. I'm coming to Sweden on the 17th of I mean, November. Uh, I heard this story before, I think, of, of uh, Israeli yeah, Lebanon. in Lebanon. Yeah. Lebanon yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same thing. Okay, I'm Chris Busby. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the attacks that have been coming, on, uh, coming, coming at me. There's a sort of global um, tsunami of attacks on Chris Busby that, that started last week with um, George Monbiot in The Guardian, and, uh, but it wasn't just George Monbiot in The Guardian, I can tell you 
It's a tax coming from Swedish doctors for the environment, from in Ingrid Ekman, from, uh, from all sorts of people who are attacking me now and trying to destroy my credibility. But actually, I have a lot of friends, you know. I have a lot of friends. And I'm in the offices of the Swedish anti-nuclear movement here, which is why you can see all of these things. Um, and talking to my friends about all of these attacks and also about Fukushima. And I want to talk a little bit to you about, about these attacks and to explain what it is that's been happening. The real target for these attacks is not me, you see. The real target for these attacks is the credibility of the European Committee on Radiation Risk, who I represent mainly. Uh, and the attack is also aimed at destroying my credibility with regard to something very, very important that I've discovered in the last few months. And this is the existence of a new weapon, the existence of a weapon that was used by the United States forces in Fallujah in Iraq and either produces or, or, or ma is made of enriched uranium. Now this is an extraordinary discovery. It was not, an, it's not a particularly expected discovery. We, we found out by looking uh, at hair samples of the mothers of children with congenital anomalies in Fallujah, in Iraq, that some weapon had been used that either, can, either is made of or produces enriched uranium. So there is a secret weapon out there that people don't want us to talk about. And now this is actually to the nightmare of the, of the United States military authorities and those people who use this weapon. It's out there. It's actually in a peer-reviewed journal that this exists. And as, John, as this jo Joseph Conrad once said, when all the shouting is over, the grim silence of facts remains. And the facts here are that the, 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 the United States and possibly the Israelis and other, other modern Western military um, uh, outfits have been using this substance which is contaminating Iraq and certainly contaminating the planet. And this yeah, is a very Sweden. serious matter. Sweden too. Of this stuff goes all over the place. Anyway, so the real target for this, this character assassination of me is not me. It's the evidence that this weapon exists. And, of course, the evidence that Fukushima is going to kill an awful lot of people. So, uh, and and th taken, those t taken together, what that shows is that the, the risk model, the current risk model for radiation is totally wrong, which is something that my group, the European Committee on Radiation Risk, has been saying for a very long time. So that's the first point. What the... What the nuclear and military authorities have to do, what the nuclear military lobby has to do, is they have to destroy the opposition to nuclear. And the, and the opposition to nuclear resides with the anti-nuclear movement, with the anti-depleted uranium movement, and with the green parties of the world. So what they want to do is to cut the green party off from the science that shows that radiation is unsafe. But this is where the Green Parties came in, because they are the only political parties that ever really opposed nuclear, and they became powerful on the back of anti-nuclear. This, this is where they came from. And if they leave anti-nuclear, if they move away from it, if they believe these attacks, and they, try to, and they allow themselves to be confused by the attacks on the science that shows that they're right, then they will go nowhere. They will, they will end up as, as, as worthless parties, along, along with a lot of other worthless parties, that will just produce the same mess that we are in at the moment. The substance of the attacks is entirely wrong. So the argument is that um, Chris Busby is a false scientist because he's associated with selling uh, um, worthless tablets for lots of money to the poor people of Japan in order to make himself rich. So we'll take these little these arguments in turn. The first the first argument is the pills. Now, what some co what I have suggested, and I suggested it some time ago, is that you can block the access of strontium ninety and uranium, which are the worst isotopes, worst nuclides coming from Fukushima. You can block their attachment to the DNA by taking calcium supplements. You take calcium. Calcium binds to the DNA, and it prevents the strontium ninety and the uranium binding to the DNA. So the first thing that these people who are attacking me say is that this isn't true. They say this is nonsense. There's actually a woman called Ger Geraldine Thomas, who's a professor at Imperial College, who said this. Who said that, there, that, that it is untrue. And in fact, there are, um, she's wrong. What we have is at least five or six scientific papers that were published in the 1960s that show that strontium-90 
uh, is kept away from the DNA after people take calcium tablets. They did experiments with humans, they did experiments with rats. So what she says isn't true, and what we're going to do is, and what we have already done in fact, is we have sent her a letter asking her to retract, and if she doesn't retract we will sue her for libel, because she is affecting my reputation on the basis of something which is manifestly incorrect and can be proven to be incorrect in a court of law. So the first thing is they will have to retract. There is no question about that. Now, the so the pills do work. That's the first thing. The second pills. The second question is, do I make money out of the pills? Well, actually, in fact, there are no pills. And the reason that there are no pills is because as soon as this guy, um, uh, my colleague, well, not colleague, but a, but a, but a, a businessman in Japan called James Ryan, started to consider making these pills, he was attacked on all sides. He was attacked by the Japanese government. He was uh, refused permission to import the pills into Japan. Uh, he wasn't uh, able to make a, um, an organization, the Chris Busby Foundation for the Children of Fukushima. He couldn't make it because nobody would, no, nobody would, would, would join with him as directors on the board of this new company because they were all frightened. And he received all sorts of death threats. So actually no pills were made, no money has passed hands, I've certainly not received any money and I've it was never intended that I should receive money. But any of the profits from the pills would have gone to the foundation to buy equipment for measuring radioactivity. So that, and all of this is on, this statement that I'm making to you, is all on the website of the uh, low level radiation campaign as a general statement. Now, who organizes this foundation? Well, the, or, or, the foundation is organized by a man called James Ryan, who's an American living in Japan, who has a child who is seriously ill and on life support. And he said to me when he phoned me up that he couldn't bear the idea of other parents having to live with children who were seriously ill, so he wanted to do something about it. And he asked me if he could use my name to set up a foundation to try and do something about it. And I said yes. So that's the limit of my involvement with this foundation. Then as far as making uh, measurements on material and uh, on, on samples that are being sent from Japan, no samples have been sent from Japan. The idea was to set up a laboratory, the Busby Laboratory in Japan. I was going to advise them on what equipment to get and they were going to make independent measurements in Japan of the concentrations of radionuclides in various substances that were being brought in. So that's, that's about it. As far as this whole situation is concerned, we are going to take some kind of libel action against uh, Imperial College and against, that, um, against the people who advised George Monbiot incorrectly with regard to these, 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 um, these statements about whether the pills are, 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 whether they work or whether they don't work. And one other statement that was made is that, the, the, is that cesium, the, the cesium released from the nuclear power station um, I, I said that it caused heart attacks in children uh, and there was a statement made by a Japanese uh, scientist, a member of the ICRP, that this was nonsense. But actually there's also plenty of evidence that, that cesium binds to heart muscles in children and causes heart attacks and it's all in the scientific literature. So that's all, all that I have to say about this and thank you very much for listening. Watch this space. You will find the um, consequences of our attacks on the Guardian newspaper and on the people who are attacking us by entertaining. Thank you.